And now, let's now proceed to race number two. Race number two will feature Tyler Phones and Sonny Bartley taking on Benny Mullen and Jerry Lack. After a disappointing tag team opener loss three weeks ago, which team will rebound with a victory? There's only one way to find out. As we go back to the Emma Courts to, to continue week's action on a beautiful starry night. And here we go. Please start the race. And right now, Sonny Bradley is going to rest. So, Benny Mullen and Jimmy Lang will have a 2 on 1 advantage over Tyler Falls to start the race. But we'll soon know if it'll pay off. Or, oh, no, not nearly mine. Right now, Tyler, Benny, and Jerry are going to make their way towards the boundaries. And they are going to bring down that coconut shaped fruit. <coughs> and now they're going to eat the fruit. <coughs> and it looks like Benny Mullen is going to have full control of the lead. Because Tyler Force and his partner, Jerry Lyon, are dancing to the beat. So Benny Mullen will have command of the lead up in the front. <coughs> and Benny Mullen is going to rest. At Sonny Blackway, who wakes up as now in Star Race, wins the only time, but he flew over at the bridges. And guess who else is sleeping right now? It's Jerry Lang. <coughs> he doesn't want to be left behind the ground. He's going to take a chance to make a shortcut. And he pays off easily. He made it to the top of the hill. As Benny Moen takes b -bus number two in his face. <coughs> but guess who else has took a shortcut? It's Tom Foles, the AC gambler from Atlantic City, New Jersey. His team now has command of the lead over Jerry Lang. <coughs> this is an exciting tour of events for this race. Who's what's gonna happen? Well, anyway, it's bad to Benny Moen, the cowboy. That makes bad to Max P.U.S. for Benny Moen himself. And we have passed one minute as number seven is all alone in last place behind the pack. <coughs> He's doing his best to catch up with the young seven competitors and Howie. He is going to need a couple more speed bites if he wants to get back in this one. And this is the first of them. That was a good speed bounce right there. Will we get some more? We'll find out soon enough. Meanwhile, Jerry Lang took a shortcut, but he might need a miracle if he wants to catch up to the other shortcut taker, Tyler Fox, up in the front. Jerry Lang is climbing up the wall. Will it be enough to make the pass for Tyler Fox? We'll find out soon enough. Next beers belongs to the Cowboy, Benny Moen. He had the upper hand that we are, but now he does win the million years to catch up to do. That speed bus makes it better for this face. And right now, Tyler Folks trying to wrap things up more Jerry Lyon as he approaches the home stretch. As his partner, Sonny Brownlee, will get no turn. That makes it second like speed bus amazing. I don't think Jerry Lyon is going to make a comeback here. Tyler Folks is going to lose Sonny Brownlee towards an easy victory. Over the competition tonight. And now you have it. Tyler Fultz leads Sonny Brown towards the midway over Jerry Lang and Benny Moen. As number seven who leads the force of a child takes the next B-list. Sonny Brown Lee is going to find out he's going to be a winner again. Tyler Fultz gets his first win back for the child racing universe. And Benny Moen, a little disappointment loss, will get another turn. Now makes his fourth speed bus in the race. Sonny Bowie showing happy with Tyler Fultz's performance. Sonny now has two wins up on his sleeve in his debut season. As number two will have next command for us. And poor Benny Moen is singing the last place blues as the race comes to a close. So, despite an early 2 on 1 advantage for Benny Moen and Jerry Lyon, it is Tyler Fultz and Sonny Bowie who come up as the victors in the very end. Right. They came back from behind and thus they get the victory. Who is going to prevail in race number three? We'll find out after this message.